Hey everybody, here's another tutorial uh, on Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a 3D image using only Photoshop. So, uh, what we're going to do, so I have a whole bunch of pictures I took in New York City, but I recall there being um, a couple random pictures of the Statue of Liberty as I was pulling up. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Almost there. That's me. Uh, here we go. We're on the boat. Alright, so we'll just scroll through these. By the way, these photos are mine. Do not steal them. Oh, there's my buddy, Nathan, sitting there. Maybe he was sick from the boat ride. I don't know. Okay, so these two give me a stereoscopic view if you see me toggling through them back and forth. You'll see that the sky adjusts, the landscape adjusts, everything changes a little bit, just enough to give you the view from the left eye to the right eye. So we're going to open both these images up in uh, Adobe Photoshop, CS4. I don't know why I have CS3 on here as well. I should probably get rid of that. And uh, now it's pretty simple. We just unlock it by double clicking. Uh, sorry. And then uh, it's normally I just click OK. Shit. Sorry for swearing. Anyway, double the way to unlock a layer, I'll do it on this one. Just double click. And I just hit OK. You can name the layer whatever you want. I just leave it as layer zero. So now I'm going to drag this layer on top of this layer. And uh, all you really got to do is uncheck this R button. And uh, you should have a 3D image. Um, but in this case, I dragged the wrong image on top. So now I got to actually drag this image on top of here. So now if you pull out your 3D glasses, pop, this should be a 3D image now. And uh, yeah, there's not much you need to do. Um, you'll see that the, the lines here are a little bit off in comparison to the Statue of Liberty, which is pretty much dead on. So we just hit our transform tool. Or, you know what? For something to zoom out a bit. Hit my transform tool. And using holding down my control tool, I'm gonna make a slight rotation. And it's pretty solid. Now I'm gonna crop it to get rid of any weird edges from that. And now oop, if you put on your 3D glasses. Statue of Liberty sitting there. By the way, this is a uh, red, blue, anaglyph 3D. Um, just so you know, if it's not working for you, that's because you need these glasses. And uh, yeah, the city's in the background. My mouse looks like it's floating over everything. And uh, yeah, so that's how you make a 3D image in Adobe Photoshop.